What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Munz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today we are learning how to dribble a soccer ball with your head up. These fundamentals will be good practice for beginner and advanced players. This week's OSA video is presented by Cinda Athletics. Cinda makes high quality, fair trade soccer balls. Would you like to win one? Cinda does a ball giveaway once a month. To automatically be entered, email your coach saying you want them to try out Cinda's fair trade soccer balls and include the email info at cindaathletics.com in the to field so Cinda will see your entry. You can only be entered once, so please don't email your coach more than once. Then keep an eye on Cinda's Facebook page for when they announce the ball winner in their monthly giveaway and that could be you. Lots of players message me saying, I need to learn to look up when I take a touch dribbling a ball. I'm looking down at the ball when I take a touch. The truth is, you're supposed to look down at the ball when you take a touch. Even pros are looking at the ball when they take a touch. The difference is, they don't look down when the ball is out in front of them a bit. That is when their eyes are up and they're scanning the field. Key points. Key point number one. Look down when you take a touch to dribble. Key point number two, look up when the ball is in front of you a step or two. This means you can take a step or two before you need to take your next touch. Key point number three, glance up with your eyes. Do not fling your whole head up. This, not this. Key point number four, do not stare at the field. A quick look and your mind will take mental pictures of the field. Key point number five, it's a balance. When dribbling, it will be a balance between looking down at the ball and glancing up to see the field. You're gonna need a ball and two cones. I don't have cones today, so I'm gonna use these pennies as cones. We have two exercises you can do. First, set up two cones about 15 to 20 yards apart. Dribble to the first cone and back at a regular jog pace, practicing your looking up technique. This is not fitness. Focus on your technique. Do not focus on going as fast as you can. Rest a few seconds between each rep. After five times, rest for a minute. Then do five more reps and increase your dribbling speed. The second exercise we can do is dribbling laps around the field. Simply dribble your ball at a relaxed pace around the field, practicing your looking up technique as you go. While dribbling around the field, increase your speed for 15 seconds at a time and then slow back down. Do one lap or a few laps. You be the judge. This is good cardio fitness with the ball too. Sounds tedious, but these exercises greatly improved my touch and vision while dribbling. It will feel like the ball is glued to your foot as you master this. Make exercises like these part of your warm up. It's good to practice fundamentals. Some things that could be going wrong. If you feel like you can't see what's in front of you or you're feeling rushed, then you're not looking up or you're not looking up high enough. Do not just look up a few feet in front of you. Make sure you look up and see the field. Bonus tip, for tips on dribbling for speed technique, watch our online soccer academy video titled how to dribble a soccer ball. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like, favorite, and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up and create your profile for free at onlinesocceracademy.com. Players all over the world use it and you can do game reviews and track your progress. Post a comment and let me know how this video worked for you. My name is Jared Munts and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!